Next step for this project is getting the analog to digital converter working. I selected an 8 channel 24 bit 32,000 sample per second converter, which based on my analysis should work pretty well. And it is in a package that <laughs> I should be able to hopefully hand solder. That's a step for the future. And I bought a prototyping board that, hmm, well, my original plan was to solder the converter onto this board and then connect to the Teensy over SPI. But then I realized, okay, wait a minute, for just getting things working, maybe there's an easier way. I found a TI eval kit with the analog to digital converter I had selected on it. It comes with two boards, an analog board and a digital board. I don't need the digital board. Instead, I'm going to hack the system so I get a fully configured analog board for bringing up my system. That means removing the digital interface. That interface provided power to the analog board. So I found a point where I could solder a 5 volt connection. The 5 volts goes through a voltage regulator to give 3.3 volts for the analog portion of the converter. For the digital interface, I found another point I could hit for soldering a 3.3 volt digital signal. And then the nice thing is that TI provided a header for monitoring the SPI signals between the two cards provided in the eval kit. What I'm going to do instead is use that header to drive the SPI signals. So I drew a simple diagram of how I wanted everything to be connected, making sure my voltage levels and power requirements were all okay. And here's the system I constructed. There is the piano hammer, the proximity sensor and resistors to properly bias it, then the connection to the analog to digital converter. The converter is on the analog board shown right there in the circle. And here are the SPI connections to the microprocessor. The microprocessor where I will do the local digital signal processing algorithms and then the Ethernet connection for sending data to the secondary processing system. When I first looked at the analog signal, it was really noisy. So I decided to split the breadboard into an analog and a digital section. It's really not ideal. I need to do some more work here. In any case, here is the SPI signal between the analog to digital converter and the Teensy board after everything is working. The ADC is sampling at 8,000 samples a second, and I have the SPI running at 10 megahertz. In the final system, this will all be going much faster, but for breadboard testing, it's sufficient. The yellow signal here is the converter data ready output. The blue and other signals, not all shown in the scope setup here, but I generated those with the driver code that I wrote for the microprocessor. I ran into two problems that cost me quite a bit of time. The first was noise on the SPI interface that I wound up fixing by adding a little bit of parasitic impedance on the ADC output data signal. The failure was intermittent, which made it really hard to figure out what was happening and why it was happening. And the way I found it was by disconnecting things one at a time. And when I disconnected the data out signal, connected it to a scope, suddenly everything started working. So that was a big clue. The other problem was it's a 24-bit bus and the converter commands are 16 bits. This code here is temporary, but notice how I have the zero padding on the lower byte. Originally, I put it on the upper byte based on something I had misread in the data sheet. And also in this image, see the A to D converters coming across UDP to my computer. From there, it is Python and MATLAB code I am writing. Actually, it's Octave for analyzing the data. Here is the analog to digital converter data for a fast and slow hammer strike, plus my computed velocity and acceleration. And then here is a zoom into the first hammer strike. This data will help with algorithm development, but note that physical hammer system I built in the last video is not well regulated yet. I am taking these initial results with caution. So at this point, I have the Teensy board working, the hammer proximity sensor is working, the A2D converter is set up and properly sending data. I can get data for analysis. Now it is time to write my DSP code.